Hi, in this lesson, I will demonstrate how I leverage on the IWB to deliver a lesson on decimals and financial literacy in a fun and engaging manner. Prior to delivering this lesson, I have made use of the following uh, lesson design elements to develop this whole lesson package. The elements are actually considering the pedagogy, the 21st century skills, the authentic experiences, and the ICT affordances that the IWB and Web 2.02 can offer to help students develop self-directed and collaborative competencies. So this lesson will be about pupils using the decimals and financial literacy concepts learned and apply them in the real life situation through planning a budget to manage their personal finance wisely. Okay, this will be the start of the lesson whereby the lesson objective is shown to the pupils and they have in mind what they can achieve at the end of the lesson. This will be a lesson itinerary to inform them what is going to happen at each stage of the lesson. For instance, the first five minutes will be about showing them how financial literacy can be applied in real life they followed by introducing them to the smart framework and case study and how they actually can plan a budget applying the addition and subtraction skills and of course the group activity on planning a budget and finally a lesson roundup on financial literacy messages and concept learned. So this will be the triggering activity where the teacher will review how FL or financial literacy is actually applied in the real life in shopping, um, in saving money, and in uh, the calculation uh, while you are using the budget to manage the financial resources wisely. So they can have a clear view of what is financial literacy and how as well as how decimals are applied in the real life setting. So before this lesson I also will um, ask them to watch this video on needs and wants to let allow them to have a better understanding before um, they attend this lesson. So I'll just show you a glimpse of what this uh, video is about. When it comes to spending money, you may find yourself buying things that you don't really need, but rather things that you want. So after they view the video at home, at this point in time, I will uh, do a short class discussion, get them to buzz about what are the things they need and what are the wants. So I get pupils to come on board to play this game to assess their prior knowledge. So I'll get some pupils to drag and drop them to the uh, correct category. For example, a pizza is a want. So a uh, iPhone is a want as well. So uh, Notebook is actually a need. Okay, this is to get pupils excited about the lesson and to connect to their prior knowledge. I will show them how we can utilize the smart framework to better manage their resources. So the S will be this being very specific, measurable, how much to set aside. Attainable, being realistic, and have a time frame to keep track of their money spendings. So, also to assess the understanding, I will use a uh, case study about this boy having a certain amount of money, and 
he went to buy some shoes and he had no money trouble to um, pay the remaining expenses so I reviewed the calculations of his expenditure and review that this person has actually problems uh, paying the rest of the bills so I work out the mathematics with the whole class and demonstrate how better can we help him to manage the situation so again we'll begin this activity to demonstrate the use of the smart goal setting in the previous case study so I'll get them same thing to brainstorm in pairs or groups and then I'll choose some of the pupils to come up to board and this round we will utilize on the um, random word chooser okay I will choose a person to select so this boy chosen will go back to this screen and then use the drag and drop method to um, solve the problem so if he will answer the question accordingly by using the smart framework for example instance specific list out the exact uh, expenses and um, spend only the things that he can afford will be attainable decide whether he is a need or one realistic record spending should be recorded regularly time frame and measuring the amount needed for each activity we'll do a check if it's all correct we'll proceed which next activity I'll show the pupils what exactly a budget con constitute and what are the components to look out for then I'll show them how are the, the spendings that's being tracked and how we compute the total I'll get them to do the calculation, I'll review the answer to check whether they are on the right track. So the review button actually shows the totals for the income and expenditure as well as the savings. So I'll actually also play an animation video to help them reconnect with the prior knowledge on decimals. And for those weaker pupils, this helps to reinforce the concepts learned. When adding decimals in columns, the most important point to remember is that the decimal points must be lined up one below the other. It does not matter if the numbers don't line up perfectly. Thereafter, it is exactly the same as adding a whole number. In subtraction, like in, if you cannot subtract a bigger number from a smaller number, then there will be some um, games and assessment at the end to check for understanding. Okay, once I felt that the pupils are ready to move on to the next stage, I will um, give them a, another form of assessment to, to show that they have understood the algorithm of adding decimals. Then I'll same as the previous exercise, I will choose um, someone from a particular group. It can be anyone from the group. Then I will get them to do the drag and drop to answer the question. I will do a check to see whether he or she is correct. Yeah, I'll proceed to um, this website. It's called the Virtual Manipulatives website. Okay, to demonstrate to them the algorithm of adding and uh, subtracting decimals. So uh, this is actually the pictorial version of uh, adding and subtracting uh, decimals which help to reinforce what was being learned at the previous stage. This will appeal to the visual learners and help them 
to connect what was being learned. So after they participated um, in this activity, right? Okay, then they will move on to the next uh, activity for this lesson. Okay, this will be another form of assessment for learning to see whether they are check for their readiness and whether have they have fully understood the main gist of the lesson. Okay, for example, if they choose the correct answer, it will be like a MCQ question that will be pretty similar to what they will be doing in the exams. So to develop the collaborative competencies, I uh, will uh, design an, an activity um, to get them to plan a budget for a class party. They will harness on Web 2.02 such as the Google Spreadsheet to tabulate all the expenditure and they actually have a, a budget to start with. They have $50 and they go to the uh, shopping websites and then they will brainstorm as a group and then they will use the, utilize the online spreadsheet to tabulate okay, their expenditure. So I will click on an example to show you the people's end product. So this will be the online uh, budget that they, the students are expected to deliver which they will collaborate online and uh, exchange um, thoughts and ideas to complete the whole activity. Alright, last but not least, I will end off the lesson by asking them to complete a group reflection and to find out whether they have any uh, misconceptions then I also add in um, some financial literacy games to excite them and as a form of extension for learning alright that's all I have for this lesson package